Welcome, welcome to the Men of Impact podcast with your boy LAC. I'm happy you're here with me. Let's get into it. Kanye West is on it again. The internet is coming at him because Kanye has been doing something very inappropriate recently, and I'm going to get into it. You guys don't know Kanye um, got a new wife, technically. Well, apparently they're not really married. They just did a ceremony, but they haven't signed any law binding documents to say they are one based on research online go google it yourself but one thing that i wanted to talk about was the fact that kanye's new wife bianca sensori um he has been posting explicit pictures very risque pictures uh of her on his social media account and i wanted to talk about it because as men we need to do better as men we need to stand up for what is right as men we need to treat our women with respect and i and i was surprised at the fact that he was posting pictures like this now let's be honest i followed kanye you know i followed him and i've been following him for a while but the moment he started dropping these pictures and and you'll see what i'm talking about once i show you guys the pictures the moment he started dropping these pictures i'm I decided to myself, okay, it's time for me to unfollow you. It, it is time for me. I do not respect men who don't respect women. Point blank, period. If you don't respect women, I have no respect for you. And so I decided, you know what? It's time for me to unfollow Kanye. And I unfollowed him. And he posted multiple pictures. But now if you were to go on his Instagram account, you'll realize that they're no longer there. Because the internet came for Kanye. They came for him and they called him out. And so he deleted it. But the internet never fails. And we have proof that he posted stuff like this. Keep in mind, these are graphic images. They are explicit. Um, they're very uh, sexualized. So just a little disclaimer, okay? Um, the first picture is, 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 is of the lady in a bathroom looking down in a very tight, what looked like a spandex leather uh, outfit that is basically just covering her, her nipple area. And then to her lady part, everything is almost out, basically, right? Now, you as a, as a respectful man, why would you allow your wife to be in such a skimpy outfit and then release it on the internet? One thing we can all agree on is that men, we are to protect our women, especially men who care about women and who respect women. These type of pictures don't tell me that, yo, you care about women. Now, why would you allow the world to see your wife somebody that you care about in this type of light. And you are the man that is posting this. Now, I understand if she was posting this on her page, if she was posting this on, 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 on her own thing and this is what she wanted to do, I understand there's a difference because she can do what she wants to do. But when it's up to you as the man to cover your wife and then you don't cover her and you treat her like a plastic doll and you treat her like, you know, some pair of socks that anybody can try on because... She is supposed to be for you and you alone. You're supposed to be for her and her alone. And this is why there are times I get really upset with dudes who post pictures of their of their wives. For example, ladies, if a man comes up to you and says, hey, let's make a, an adult video. Let's make, you know, uh, adult content and post it out there. First of all, you should slap that man for him assuming that you're that type of woman. Now, if you're that type of woman, then I'm not talking to you. I'm speaking to Christians. I'm speaking to believers. And Kanye is somebody that we saw transition into Christianity and now kind of seem as though he's going backwards. A Christian man does not post pictures of his wife like that on the Internet. A Christian man does not do that. You may take pictures of your wife, but any picture that that is in this, any picture like that should not see the internet, should not see the light of day for anybody else's eyes to see it. And to you men, you who post risque, explicit, and provocative pictures of your significant other, of your wife, you are disgusting. And you are not a man, but you are a little boy. And so I want to call you out. And as believers in Christ, we have to be people that stand up for what is right. Kanye, what's wrong with you, man? You're treating this woman with no dignity and with no respect. You're allowing the world to see your wife in this type of light. And what you're doing is you're allowing everybody else to have a taste of what should only be for your eyes. You were upset about Kim posting herself. But the thing is with Kim, Kim was somebody that built her own empire of sex and explicit images. So you can't really be upset with her. But you were mad that she was always wearing skimpy clothing. But now doesn't this make you a hypocrite that you're posting pictures of this young woman 
on your social media platform with over 18 million followers. You have over 18 million followers and some of these pictures would have about 2 million likes. And we know Instagram, just because you have 2 million likes doesn't mean only 2 million people saw it. More than 2 million people saw it. Her body is being masqueraded on the internet. And there are people who have images of her now who have screenshot it and it's on the internet now and it can no longer be deleted. Although you deleted it, she is forever in the phones of other men and little boys. What message do you think you're sending to young men, Kanye? What message do you think you're sending to little boys, Kanye? People who follow you, that it's okay to degrade women. It's okay to post them in, in very skimpy outfits. I don't, I'm, I'm all for men posting their wives, posting their, their girlfriends, posting their partners. I'm all for you. Go ahead and do it. I'm not for you posting pictures of your significant others, your wives, your partners in a risque, skimpy outfit just for the fun of it. That shows me you lack dignity and respect as a man. There should never be a time where we can say, oh, it's okay for you as a man to release these type of pictures because you're sending a message. And I saw in some of the comments that were like, at least it's not a black girl. And the thing is, it doesn't matter. Why does race always have to be a case in this, such an, in this situation or in cases like this? It doesn't matter if she's black, white, Hispanic, Latino, Asian, Indian, uh, a Jewish. It doesn't matter what race she is. What matter is the fact that you as a man need to step up and say, we're going to protect our women. We're not going to post explicit pictures of our women. It's different if they, if the women themselves want to post pictures because you got black people, black women, white women, Hispanic women, who they post explicit content on their own accord. That's different. But when you are in a committed relationship, you are married, your job as a man is to protect your, your significant other. But if you don't want to do that and you just want to do whatever you want to do and you want to post her and do all this, you're not a man, but you might say, but we both like it. Then y'all both don't have an understanding of modesty and dignity and respect. If y'all both are okay with just posting pictures of yourself like that. And I want to say this based on the research that I did online, Bianca was already posting these type of pictures of herself. Okay. And so a lot of people might say, well, you know, if she's already posting it and Kanye is just doing what she was already doing, but he's doing it on his account. The point of the matter is Kanye needs to represent for something better. He needs to stand and say, I'm going to treat and respect my wife. If your wife was in the streets and doing that, when she's with you, it changes. Now, that's the thing. A lot of people think you can change people. You can't change people. You cannot change people. Kanye could not change Kim. You can't change people. People are going to be who they want to be. The only person that is able to change is Jesus. You can't change nobody. You can give people information. You can give them life experiences. You can give them facts. But at the end of the day, they got to take the message that you give them and relay it to themselves and then pick what they want. And then from there, you move on. You can't change people. You can encourage people. You can inspire people. You can motivate people. But people have to decide to change on their own. Men, we need to do better. This ain't right. Our job is to protect our women. This should never be the case. Don't you ever post pictures of your significant other on the internet like this. And as a Christ follower, you are to protect your wife. And if anything goes outside of that and you're allowing your, your wife to just be used and abused on the internet, you need a reality check. Let me know if you agree with me. Let me know if you disagree with me in the comments below. Like this video, subscribe, and I'll see you when I see you. It's your boy.